welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you guys how to declutter your home now you guys in today's video i am not going to be doing a whole bunch of baskets a whole bunch of bins anything like that this is strictly just declutter organize and purging getting rid of a lot of stuff that we have had for about a year so when we moved into our home we kind of just put things in the closet and just put them there so we didn't necessarily organize them so in this video i'm going to be organizing the majority of the closets and you guys our focus is in the kitchen and the doubt in the underneath cabinets and then down. i have been dreading to do this clean for about a month <laughs> to weeks i even just trying to film this right now i've been dreading it um but it is time fall is coming and that is my favorite season so I really want to make sure that I purge and get everything out of the house. And I also wanted to say, y'all notice the girls here is a different color. Okay, 31 is looking real good. And so I'm excited. So I got a little color going on, y'all. So we spicing it up a little bit. But stay tuned if you want to keep watching this video on how to declutter your home and your space. And do hey you guys welcome back again um and so in today's video we are doing a massive organization cleaning out and purging all of the things that i don't need in my kitchen area now we have been here for about a year and it has been a while since i even touched some of these cabinets pretty much most of the time i've just been throwing a lot of things in there if you feel me drop it down in the comments if you know how it is when it comes to the plastic containers it's a nightmare i absolutely hate it so in this video i'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning out purging and just throwing things that i don't use that i don't even pretty much touch i'm going to be throwing those things away and just reorganizing all of my materials as you can see in this section right here i pretty much had so much stuff in here that i even had like letters <laughs> mail everything in this area because I just don't touch it so I had to really go through every single piece of plastic Tupperware make sure that it matched the top to the bottom and just cleaned out and threw away what didn't what I didn't need and what didn't need to be there in that space and then some items that were just old and just just needed to be tossed out I did that so this is really pretty much just taking out areas of the kitchen that I don't pretty much go into and just cleaning it out and just organizing it and also just making sure that I give it a nice good scrub down um, and just wipe it down and there's some areas that you'll see a lot of dust because even though we have been here for a while some of the stuff we just kind of put even in those spaces that we didn't use so you know just being real some of us do that when we have certain spaces and we just need to put it there because we're just trying to situate stuff um, you know it happens it happens all the time but again circle back to it and just clean it out and organize it as you can so after going through all of the Tupperware and just kind of seeing what I needed and what I didn't need, I wanted to give everything a nice good clean and a nice good scrub down. So that's what I did in this section right here is just wiping down and just washing all of the dishes that needed to be washed and then putting some of the plastic containers that I was taking out and that I was keeping and just putting those in a dishwasher to give it a good scrub. Even if I cleaned it before, I wasn't sure I couldn't remember. It's always good to just go ahead and clean your um, Tupperware and items again just to keep it nice and fresh and what give it a nice wipe down and then reorganize it there's nothing like a feeling of just feeling like everything is nicely fresh and done um, because you don't want to keep yourself guessing did I do this did I do that and then do the same thing and just shove it back in that in those spaces and trust me I am guilty of it so I know how it is so I just want to say just another tip just make sure you clean your dishes your Tupperwares even if you can't remember if you did it or not it's a good feeling just to have that fresh feel all over again and just kind of situate your Tupperware and organize it.
as I start to clean each drawer section by section, um, one thing that I like to do that I kept with me this entire time was a garbage bag. <laughs> um, I kept that garbage bag with me throughout the entire clean just because it was so much stuff that I wanted to throw away and I didn't want to have no hesitation at all on keeping something or just having a moment of, oh, I need this. If I have not used it within a year, within six months, or I've just had it in there, it was time for it to go. So I made sure that I kept the garbage bag right there with me as I was cleaning so anything that had to go it was in the garbage and then the next thing that I did as I was wiping everything down I just used a simple all-purpose cleaner and just wiped down the drawers out and then after once it settled and dried I then went and hit um, went in and used the pledge um, I know that's a little different some people may not use that some people may not like it that way but for me it just gave it a little bit more of a polish and shine um, and I just wanted to make sure that I was cleaning these drawers as good as possible um, and there was no residue no uh, stickiness or oils left behind and the pledge is really good with keeping and getting up any grime or oils so that's what I wanted to make sure that I was doing so that's why you see me kind of using two at the same time <music> Okay guys, so in this video, instead of using plastic bins and different items to organize my drawers and cabinets, I instead used some plastic baggies. Um, I will be so honest with you guys, I went to the Dollar Tree and that's pretty much my to-go to when I'm doing organization or grabbing any little things that I would need to just kind of organize certain areas, especially when it's something small like this. Um, they had no more organizers. They were all gone and I just didn't want to go to store to store to kind of get them and it was kind of too late to um, order them so I just said you know what I'm just gonna do it and just organize it and just try to keep this space clean and I will say that as long as you organize your materials and the things that you're using on a day-to-day -day basis you can really keep your drawers nice and clean and organized so organizational um, baskets and um, different tools are really good but if you just sort situate them and just keep them organized in a certain way you're kind of 
of mindful of how you put it in there. So therefore, you won't be putting it and just throwing it in there. Because if you see it thrown in there like that, you'll most likely want to do that. But if you just take your time um, every so often and just kind of organize it, you will definitely keep up with that pattern. <laughs> practicing at home for you know reading writing flashcards and all of that and it turned into an entire mailbox like this was where we sorted and where I put the mail at <sighs> y'all just keep your stuff in one spot don't have it all hidden places I swear I promise I will do better okay okay you guys so if you have stayed towards the end of this video thank you so much this was a massive kitchen organization purge declutter everything there was so much to do it took me about two days to at least just clean the kitchen and in the beginning of the video you kind of slightly hear me saying that I was going to declutter the closets downstairs because that was the plan but I could only do the kitchen I did not realize how much stuff I had in the kitchen even when you're planning and timing things out in these videos sometimes you think you can do more than what is really more than what you really can handle so that's where we were it's all about the kitchen in this video and I also want to say for those who have been watching and stay in tune thank you so much I hope that you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to hit that subscribe if you are a new watcher and viewer and you like my channel hit that subscribe button and hit your notifications and I also want to throw in a bonus 
for you guys um, if you have stayed towards the end of this video then you are like in for a treat I will be giving away a $50 gift card for the person who drops down in the comments below my favorite store that I love to shop at the first person to do that will receive a gift card now you guys we are in the time of gift card and also cash app so I am offering cash app or a gift card drop down in the comments my favorite store and if you don't know that means you get to binge watch so keep tabs you guys i will be announcing this in my fall video coming up next